Gonna run up the old Evo 163 tube tester, valve tester. You know, close ups on. Minor little scrapes there. Pretty good condition, really. This one has the grey the grey rollers um, black rollers are supposed to be stronger but these have been fine ok today we'll test uh, an EL34 second hand one but uh, it will show the meter working and put it through its paces close ups of the meters Original, perfect working order that one. This is an original meter, but the scale has been replaced. Uh, it's a photocopy of the scale, and this is a photocopy. And uh, knob is not original, but the meter movement itself is original. Okay, switch on. Ready to set up. Close up of the little wavy line which we set the needle to. And this one. Sets the mains position. Okay, that's about right. Let's plug the valve in. Well, here we go, second hand EL34. I know it's a good one goes in, into the international optical socket put that one in there ok before we do anything make sure heater volts are set to 6 and I've got it set to 6.3 6 on here, 6.3 the multiplier must be on zero, otherwise you're going to damage the valve. Okay. Look at the setup numbers for EL34 128, 740, 301, <coughs> and 0000. zero. Heater volt 6, negative grid volts 13.5, anode and screen volts 250. And expect from a new valve, good to new, 75 milliamps, and a GM of 11. Looks very tatty and a bit worn, but all readable. Okay, set up the uh, electrode selectors. One, two, eight. One, two. One, two, eight. Seven four zero. Three one.
say these will work. Little levers push the rollers around. Grid vault course. Not thirty. Grid vault says. 13.5 10 12 13.5 anode and screen 250 set to anode 1 as it's only got one anode of course I think we're ready to test Okay, first click checks the heater continuity. Okay, just turn the switch around now. Look for indications. No shorts. Check heater hot. Check. Check for sh check for shorts hot rather. Okay, no indications. If there was indications, you'd stop the test and uh, find out why. Next position. Get a cathode insulation. Fine. Switch to test and hundred milliamp scale showing sixty milliamps and rising. If we go on to the milliamps per voltmeter GM. We're expecting a GM of 11, so we go to that scale. And lo and behold, the 10 scale showing 9. Okay, this little <coughs> this little cursor here. You set this one to what you expect the GM to B, which in this case 11, 10, 11. And if the needle is in the good section, which it is, just indicates it's good. Okay, to show you the dynamics of this thing, it's uh, If I increase the anode volts, milliamps through the valve is now well, 100 plus, and the GM has moved up to 10. We'll do that for long. Again, with screen. Turn the screen volts down, and all volts affected negative. GM is negative. Now you can see the valve's been on for a while, it's sort of crept up to 60, 60 plus milliamps. GM. 9.3 there are the grid volts By a couple of volts you'll see the dynamic indication of GM
It really is a fantastic instrument. It's the last one made and by miles the best. These two push buttons here. Push this one, it shows current, screen grid current. Okay, about 10 milliamps. And this one shows milliamps per volt. Screen grid. Milliamps per volt for the screen grid. Screen grid current. Final test is switch to gas indicator. Measured on the microamp scale. minimal. Yeah. Quick calculation reads this is twenty microamps of grid current. That would be five microamps reading. Shows it's pretty good. For a second hand valve. Okay, that's the end of the test. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, been of some use to you. Slight correction to make. GM reading, of course, is just 8+, plus, 8+, plus, not a 9, as I said before. Last thing to do, switch off. Return all the switches to zero. Heater, particularly important. Always leave this one on 100 milliamps. Save straining your meters. All best and goodbye.